Mr. Chairman, I'd like to submit for the record this 2021 Time Magazine article titled How a White Supremacist Militia Uses Facebook to Radicalize and Train New Members about the Ukrainian Neo-Nazi Azov Battalion. Without uh, objection to order. Thank you. Time also put together a piece only three years ago, and it's quite an extensive video that gives full information about the Nazis in Ukraine and their recruitment efforts that go all around the world. Um, it's amazing to me that just in a few years' time, uh, it's now considered misinformation to talk about the Nazis in Ukraine. I'd like to quote the article. It says that Ali Sufin, a security consultant and former FBI agent who has studied Azov, Nazis estimates that more than 17,000 foreign fighters have come to Ukraine over the past six years from 50 countries. According to Christopher Ray, the FBI director, he said that Azov has been recruiting and radicalizing and training American citizens for years. He also finished saying uh, in his testimony to the U.S. Senate that American white supremacists are actually traveling overseas to train. Uh, this is an extremely concerning situation. I don't think anyone in the United States government, Americans, do not support actual Nazis or white supremacists. I know I certainly do not. And I can't understand why in just a short amount of time, this information that our own American media frequently talked about is no longer talked about. I'd like to point out um, also, here's an NBC article stating that Ukraine's Nazi problem is real. Mr. Snyder, do you see this headline? This is NBC News. They say that Ukraine's Nazi problem is real, uh, even if Putin's denazification claim is not. So even our own American media, unless you consider NBC or Time Magazine misinformation spreaders or disinformation media outlets, um, this is contrary to, to what you testified. And there's frequent pictures all over, anybody can find them, of Nazis. Here they are. This looks like something you'd see out of Hitler's Germany from Ukraine. And this is something that's extremely important to talk about. According to the Council of Europe, however, Ukraine is ranked well in the top half of countries in terms of how corrupt they are. In the last five years, Ukraine has ranked close to the countries like Gambia, Iran, Myanmar and Sierra Leone in corruption. That's not very free and democratic company to keep. Ukraine has canceled their elections, arrested members of the press, not allowed uh, different types of religion unless it goes along with the Ukrainian government. And right now, the biggest push in Washington, D.C. is to fund the Ukraine war with another $60 billion. And while we're talking about the CCP, I think it's extremely important to point out that our own wide open border is the most dangerous threat to our national security. According to CBP data, there, were 20, there have been 24,296 Chinese nationals enter the United States at the southern border just this year in 2024. I want you to know that's up 7,000% since Biden took office in 2021 when only 342 Chinese nationals crossed our border. When we're talking about national security and talking about threats to, through the United States, Congress needs to remember that our open border is the greatest threat to the American people who, by the way, Monday was tax day, April 15th, when struggling Americans pulled together to pay their taxes or filed for extensions or paid money that they just didn't have and desperately are hoping for a tax return. The United States federal government is doing everything they can here in Congress, persuading members of Congress with every lobbyist from foreign countries and groups, trying to tell us to send $100 billion overseas, and we're doing nothing for our border. So when you want to talk about misinformation, Mr. Snyder, you might actually look a little closer to American media if you don't like what they're saying. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Mr. Chairman, does he have the opportunity to respond to the gentlelady? Sure. Yeah. You. I didn't ask him a okay. question, oh, her Mr. Time Raskin. Expired. You asked right. multiple questions. I did not Mr. ask him a question. You certainly Mr. did. You said, did Raskin. you see this? Yeah, it was really hilarious how much Marjorie Taylor Greene hates Jamie Raskin. 
Will the gentleman yield for a question? No, I will not yield to one of your stupid questions that are always attacking me and attacking President Trump. How okay. about a mediocre question? No, I don't question. want to, I do not want An your question. An excellent question? No. A smart question? No, my time, An intelligent my, question? You have no smart or intelligent questions. <laughs> <laughs> one of the ways that we lose to authoritarian states is if they can get their claws into our leaders, either through money or compromise or psychological manipulation. I just want to show you what happens when our leaders cave in to China and to Russia. So here are some of the, the tweets that were sent out by the last president about, about President Xi in China. Smart, brilliant, everything perfect. We love each other. Friend of mine, a very, very good man. There's nobody like that. The look, the brain, the whole thing. My feeling toward you is an incredibly warm one. A brilliant man. If you went all over Hollywood to look for somebody to play the role of President Xi, you couldn't find it. There's nobody like that. The look, the brain, the whole thing. And here's uh, the, the ex-president on Putin. His invasion of Ukraine is genius and pretty savvy. Putin was smart. The man has very strong control over a country, a tough cookie with great charm. So we need some democratic self-respect in order to combat the propaganda. And I am also happy that we saw today a few members actually demonstrate what propaganda running through American politicians looks like. Thank you for calling this very significant and important hearing, Mr. Chairman, I yield back to you. See, the problem that we're having and the reason that we're bringing up Russia as well is because Russia is a threat as well as China. So we are not going to sit here and pretend as if it's only one or the other. But the biggest problem that we have is we have people that sit in this chamber and they spread the misinformation. If it was left in Russia or China, whatever. But the problem is that you have people that sit in positions of power and they 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 have a two million dollar budget. You think that they would call on some staff to find out if they were telling the truth about the things that they're putting on social media, but instead it works. Free Taylor Green. <laughs> this guy's real tough. Looks like he's made out of hugs. And he ain't afraid of hollering at a colleague. You don't have enough intelligence. The president. Or even a school child. You're attacking our Second Amendment. We have nothing to say. He's brave enough to shoot down common sense gun legislation and smart enough to shoot hogs from a chopper. Speaking of hogs, I bet old Mark has a big one. Uh, me 